This is a tutorial on how to change the CSC code on your Samsung device using SamFW tool. This method should work on all Samsung phones newer than the Galaxy S9. Older Samsung devices have these changes done in firmware instead of by a CSC code and that is not what this tutorial is going to focus on. The CSC code is the consumer software configuration. This has changes such as the logo that shows up when you have 4G or 5G, the apps that are pre-installed by your carrier, dialer codes, the startup screen, and which cellular bands you can connect to. Now if I scroll down to About Phone and Settings, click Software Information, you can see that my current CSC code is CCT, which is Xfinity Mobile. You will also notice a VZW indicating that this was originally a Verizon wireless device. That second code can never be changed. Now before we actually use SamFW tool, you're going to want to enable USB debugging on your phone. To do this, open Settings, scroll down to About Phone, click Software Information, and then click Build Number eight times. You will see a little bubble at the very bottom of your screen that tells you that you have enabled Developer Mode. Exit About Phone, click on Developer Options, and then scroll down to where it says USB Debugging, and click that switch into the On position. Firstly, we need to change the code. To do this, we're going to use a program called SamFW Tool. I will link any programs I use in the description. Click on the MTP tab, and then click Change CSC. You should briefly see a loading bar, and then a small dialog box prompting you to enter a CSC code. I used code XAA. XAA is US Unlocked. It is an authentic Samsung experience without any carrier bloat or missing features. XAA supports all cellular bands used by carriers in the US. Do some research to make sure the code you flash onto your device is suitable for your country. XAA works in the United States, but it may be finicky in other parts of the world, such as Europe, that uses different cellular bands. Once you see the OK indicator in SAMFW, your CSC code has changed successfully. It's normal for your screen to change during this process. SAMFW will open your phone app and do some things in the background. After the process is complete, your phone will automatically restart and your CSC code will be changed at that point. However, we are not done, depending on your device. Chances are you will get this dialog box. If you don't, you can safely ignore the rest of this video. This dialog box is basically forcing you to put your old CSC back on the phone. However, there is a workaround and I will show it right now. The issue is a program running in the background preventing your new CSC from working with your SIM card. Using a program called ADB App Control, you can disable the background app that prevents your CSC from working. Simply search CID Manager in the search box on the top, click the checkbox next to the application that shows up, select Disable from the drop down on the bottom, then click Apply. At this point you can restart your phone and it will not ask for the old CSC back. To restart, do not use the dialog box, hold the power button to restart, otherwise you will have your old CSC again. Now if I come back to settings in about software, you will see that my CSC code is now XAA instead of CCT. I hope this tutorial helps somebody. Please leave any comments with successes, failures, or questions.